Missing out on basketball news is already tough. So go ahead and tap that bell icon and let it ring for the latest in basketball you. This is 5 on 5 Fast Break News on Basketball You. This is 5 on 5 Fast Break News. And thanks for tuning in last week. We are excited to keep you up to date on all the latest basketball news. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out on all of our social medias. We will be looking for you in the comment section so we can give you a shout out in our next installment of 5 on 5 Fast Break News. Here we go. The NBA season is back. We saw some great players in the bubble and someone was crowned a champion and we got basketball action almost every day for about three months straight. Can't ask for more than that, right? Wrong. The NBA will start back up on December 22nd and it looks to be more exciting than the bubble was with all the trades happening. We are just going to show you a couple of trades because it's just too many to keep up with. Drew Holiday has been sent to the Milwaukee Bucks. Gordon Hayward has been sent to the Charlotte Hornets. Chris Paul has been sent to Phoenix Suns. Al Horford has been sent to Oklahoma City Thunder. Dennis Schroeder has been sent to the Los Angeles Lakers. Bogdan Bogdanovic has been sent to the Atlanta Hawks. Serge Ibaka has been sent to the Los Angeles Clippers. Seth Curry has been sent to the Philadelphia 76ers. Rajon Rondo has been sent to the Atlanta Hawks. Danny Green has been sent to the Philadelphia 76ers. Steven Adams has been sent to the New Orleans Pelicans. Kelly Oubre has been sent to the Golden State Warriors. Jeremy Grant has been sent to the Detroit Pistons. Dwight Howard has been sent to the Philadelphia 76ers. Brent Forbes has been sent to the Milwaukee Bucks. Robert Covington has been sent to the Portland Trailblazers. JaVel McGee has been sent to Cleveland Cavaliers. And Bobby Portis has been sent to the Milwaukee Bucks. The NBA is moving everyone around it seems like, and the biggest news hasn't dropped yet. But in case you get lost in the shuffle, we will catch you up to speed. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, that, that big red button down there. And if you have already subscribed, be sure to click that bell thing right next to that subscribe button. Set it to all so you don't miss out on any little thing we post right here on Basketball U. As we continue on, first let's talk about how one player has gotten traded about five times already. Veteran Trevor Ariza has been taking a wild ride during this free agency madness. After a whirlwind week for Trevor Ariza that included being a part of four different teams, the veteran Ford has set a record. His trade to the Oklahoma City Thunder was the 10th time he has been dealt in his career, which sets an NBA record. Three of those have come over the last week. Ariza was traded from the Portland Trailblazers to the Houston Rockets on Monday, shipped to the Detroit Pistons on Wednesday, and then traded to the Thunder as part of a three-team deal on Saturday. This is what his NBA career setting trade record looks like. Traded from New York Knicks to Orlando Magic. Traded from Magic to Los Angeles Lakers. Traded from the Houston Rockets to the New Orleans Hornets. Traded from the Hornets to the Washington Wizards. Traded from the Wizards to the Rockets. Traded from Phoenix Suns to the Wizards. Traded from the Sacramento Kings to the Portland Trailblazers. Traded from the Trailblazers to the Rockets to the Pistons to the Thunder. The crazy thing about this is he might not even be done with moving around yet. Contracts in the NBA have gotten grossly out of hand as players who are fourth and fifth option are getting over $70 million. Mind-blowing stuff, I know. Here are some contract deals that you probably didn't hear about. Bogdan Bogdanovic has a four-year deal worth $72 million with Atlanta Hawks. Contavious Codwell Pope, also known best as KCP, agreed to a three-year, $40 million deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Marcus Morris has agreed to a four-year, $64 million deal with the Los Angeles Clippers. 
Joe Harris has agreed to a four-year, $75 million deal with Brooklyn Nets. Christian Wood signed a three-year, $41 million deal with Houston Rockets. Jeremy Grant signed a three-year, $60 million deal with Detroit Pistons. Davis Bertans has agreed a five-year, $80 million deal with Washington Wizards. Those are to name just a few. And then some head-spinning deals this week were De'Aaron Fox, five-year, $163 million to Sacramento Kings. Donovan Mitchell, five-year deal, $163 million with Utah Jazz. Brandon Ingram, five-year, $158 million max contract with New Orleans Pelicans. Bam Adebayo, five-year, $163 million to Miami Heat. And this is an amazing amount of money to possibly never win a championship. Jason Tatum, five-year, $195 million with Boston Celtics. So I'm, I'm gonna need some of that money. How can I get to the league right quick? Before we can get you some more news, here's some five-on-five -five fast break trivia. What was the biggest amount that Michael Jordan signed for as an NBA player? Was it A, 15 million? B, 50 million, C, 30 million, or D, 100 million? The correct answer is C. Jordan signed a one year, 30.14 million contract in 1996. No NBA player had earned more in a given season than the 18.72 million that Patrick Ewing netted in 1995-96 season. Crazy to think about when you see the contracts now. Imagine what he would have signed for in the present. Preseason All-Americans perform at a high level showing exactly why they are nominated to be the best in the country. There is still some speculation with cancellations already happening due to what's been going on lately in the world. In the meantime, here's a glimpse to show them what they're working with. Although there is some uncertainty, college basketball remains hopeful with their preseason tournaments and the broadcasting through the different conference networks to make sure the season is a successful one and in hopes to have a national tournament. All the right precautions are being taken to make this game safe for the student athlete. This concludes this edition of 5 on 5 Fast Break News on Basketball U. We bring you the latest on all things basketball, from college to the NBA to the WNBA. And all you gotta do is subscribe. And remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 You?